everyone, Paul and I am Sam. Welcome to another inbox review. So today we're going to look at the brand new B Max Lancia Delta S4 Group B Rally Car, literally released not long ago. Uh, this was a very kind gift from a buddy of mine, Sam. He's crazy, absolutely mad. Uh, we got them from overseas. They're pretty cheap, and they arrived the other day. And he got mine shipped out to me. So I've got the kit and the detail upset to have a look at. So we'll go through both of those in a minute. But this is a truly iconic car, and another eagerly anticipated release from B Max. Hopefully they're going to get through all these Group B cars. Between them and Bell Kits, hopefully they get through them all. Um, and we can keep building these iconic cars. So, it's a beautiful looking kit. I've had a very quick look through the box. Not really looking at the detail upset. It's all still sealed. So, we'll go through that live in a bit. Um, but the box art itself, wow, it just looks great. The Audi was fantastic. That's a button adorn in my ceiling up there. Yes, I've got no wall space left. So, pictures go on the ceiling now. And it's just beautiful box art. It really is. So, hopefully we get another good kit. No nasty surprise in the box, and it builds up well as well. I will be building it pretty soon. I more than likely won't video build it before I get asked. I'm going to build this for myself. It's a kit I've waited for for a long time, and I'd like to enjoy it at my own pace. So please don't ask me going to video build it. You probably will, but I'm not going to at all. So there we are. So let's go and look inside this box and see what we get. Okay, so there we go. Yet again, BMAX has absolutely knocked it out of the park. With the box art, just like the Audi Quattro, I'll be keeping this and it'll be a dawn in my cave somewhere because that box art is just stunning. So obviously it's an anti Delta S4 Group B rally car. It's a 1.8 twin charge, so it's supercharged and turbocharged uh, to help with low down lag. 500 plus horsepower Group B rally monster. Four wheel drive um, based on the 037 basically. And uh, just a truly iconic car, especially in this Martini scheme. Uh, it's Toyvonen's car, which sadly um, not only did it end Toyvonen's life, it also ended the life of the Group B cars with a fatal crash um, later on in its career. So a real shame, but beautiful car. And nice bit of a tribute to the driver as well. So lovely box art there. Um, so we got, let's have a look what we got on the side. On the side there, we've got the colours required. So if you have a look. You can pause those. I never look at those, never use them, but it's there if you want. We've got a nice side profile view of the car there. Absolutely stunning. Uh, on the other side, we've got the optional detail apart set, which we actually got as well, and a rear and a front view as well. Such an aggressive looking car, it really is. Built for one thing, out and out speed. So very nice, typical top opening box from BMAX. They're nice, strong boxes. I really do like these. I'm gonna pop some over there so sprues we've got a clear sprue i think there's two in here i've seen and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine plastic sprues a couple of chromes another clear sprue so two clear sprues the tires polycaps mesh beautiful decals very very nice so we can go over there We've got some promo material there, which we'll have a look at in a bit. Ooh, that's nice as well. Oh, yes. We'll tell that bathroom later to read while I'm on the toilet. Nothing else. And we've got the absolutely lovely decal layout scheme. Beautiful piece of work, that is. Absolutely stunning. Very nice. And our instructions. So there'll be nothing too horrific there. Pretty much standard BMAC. So let's start with... The body now. I'm going to try not to forget the tyres today because I forgot the tyres on the last car I reviewed. I found them two days later hidden behind my uh, tool rack. So we'll try and remember them today. Now these are sticky bags if I remember right. Well, yeah, there it is. Sorry for the rustling, but it can't be helped. That's one hell of a long sprue. Why on earth? Do we need a sprue that long? Seriously, that thing's like 29 centimetres long. That's crazy. Okay. Really thin sprue. We'll get to that in a minute. So, we've got the three body components. All right. So, one of them we can try a thick because it's clean. It's been slide moulded. Well, let's have a little look, you see, at the fit. Nothing wrong with that. That is not bad at all. If you spread it apart, almost perfect. So we've got the front bumper section all molded in. It's 
couple of seams to take care of here and there but the front section looks really good we've got some moulding and detail on top as you can see and for the most part no problems there a bit of a seam to take care of down the front overall though nice and clean very cool and it fits onto the center section really well center section again it's typical B Max's plastic it's not totally smooth it almost looks like there's a roughness to the plastic but there's not it's just the way it is a couple of locator points to cut off there and you have to be careful once these are cut off you've only got that B pillar holding it together so you need to be really careful there doing that but again the details there it's a little bit soft in places but nothing really to worry about. It's good. Oh, we've got a bit of damage there. Yeah, we have. We've got a bit of a scratch that side. Yeah, a bit of a mark on the plastic. Just there. Uh, but no problem. I'll contact BMAX and they'll be completely useless like they were last time. First and last time I reviewed the Porsche 935, the tyres were damaged. I contacted BMAX after replacement. I paid the postage. I have just paid for a new kit, I think it was very fair, so I'm not very impressed. But hey ho, it's one of those things. Um, rear section, again, four clean up points, the rest of it, very, very clean. I would like to test fit it, but I'm not taking those sprue points off yet, it's way too weak to do that. But again, nice and clean moulded. I can't see any seam lines on that part at all to take care of. Or maybe across the top, yeah, there's a little bit across the top there. So the bodywork, nice and quick and easy to clean up. Three sections, so these are all going to be able to come apart to show you what's inside. And hopefully, they're all going to fit together well. I can't see there being any drama there at all. It all seems to fit really well. So the bodywork looks really good. So always a plus point. Let's check that bag over there. We've got the interior now. They are going to be some of the rustless bags. I know, they're on par with Lego bags. Do excuse the rustling. It can't be helped. So we've got our cockpit tub and our chassis, minimal chassis on this. And we've got some hose work there and the antenna. Antenna's way over scale. It, it's worth buying the aftermarket set to get the um, better antenna. But this doesn't look bad. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Just so you can see this part, it's white now a tad. Just make sure it is because of the white, not the camera. Yes, yeah, the white, the white plastics make the camera white bounce go a bit iffy. So no dramas there, we've got some very fine points there. The nice um, tubular chassis at the back. And again, no dramas there, not much to talk about. There's no flash, there's no damage. There's a little bit of riveting detail raised there as well. And again, no issues at all. Not a problem at all. It's going to be quite a sectional car to put together this. I can see that already. We've got what look like a couple of inner wheel arches. And again, no problems there. A few locator points, sprue points to clean up. But no dramas there. Wisp of flash here and there. But again, grab your fingernail and off it goes. So people ask me, you know, when I complain about those tyres, why I just keep, still keep buying the kits? Well, nobody else makes these kits. Um, so sadly, it's just one of those things. 90% of the time, the kits are perfect. The BMW M3, I love that kit. It's an amazing kit. The Audi was a good kit. So, you know, I can't fault them. Just wish the customer service had been a little bit better. But that's part on by the by, really. So, again, a little bit of flash wispy in places on this. That sprue is ridiculously long. I'm not sure what's going on here, either. Um, it looks like there should be some parts there. They are numbered. 12, 13, and 14, and they're not there. Bit strange. Okay, I'll have to have a look at the instructions for that and see what should be there. But no problems there, just a bit ominous, this missing part here. But there's no cutoff point. Nothing's been removed, but it is numbered 13 and 14. Hmm. Okay, that's intriguing. The rest of the chassis is the front part, so you see the front section is moulded into the cockpit tub as we go. Very basic tub. Um, we've got some of the detail from under the uh, engine hood there, so various bottles for fluids and what have you. The floor of the cockpit's very basic, and uh, there's what is implying to be bottles there, whether they're fire extinguishers or what, I'm not sure. I'm assuming they are. Uh, some detail on the back here as well, and the rest of the chassis there, and some suspension components as well. Again, no problem there at all. There's no issues, I can't see any problems. 
No, nothing there at all. Spot on, that's fine. So, as we say, it's, it's brilliant to be getting these kits. Um, these Group B kits are really, apart from a handful Tammy has made, uh, were only really available in resin. And, you know, they build up all right. I built one or two. Um, but plastic is so much easier to work with um, that it makes it a bit more pleasant to do. So on here we've got door cards, we've got more of the chassis components, wing mirrors, some of the transmission, the exhaust, monstrous exhaust, really is, the bucket seats, and some interior parts there as well. And again, apart from the slight wisp of flash here and there, a bit of a quick look around. There is no real issue. Some seam lines to deal with, which you get on every kit. Uh, the seats look good. They're cut out for the side belts as well, which is always good. Quite often have to do that quite a lot in some of the Tamiya kits, all the kits. But again, no dramas there. All the seats are quite nice, quite slight, nicely shaped. They're going to be composite as well with the age. Uh, the exhaust looks good. And again, no problems. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, little whisper flash, which seems to be part of the course with BMAX. Comes off with your fingernail though, so it's no real problem at all. Uh, we've got dashboard, more of the front suspension. Oh, is it front or rear? Could be front mat. Uh, intercooler radiator, engine block itself, looks like the rear spoiler. Um, we've got the dashboard with the pedals incorporated inside too. And again, no dramas. The engine block, looks like transmission there. It's quite nicely detailed. A 1.8 litre lump. Well, yeah, not bad. Radiator, is that a radiator? Yeah, I think it's a radiator. Have you got a separate intercooler? Maybe. Yeah, no problems there at all. Got part, is that part of the roll cage? That's part of the roll cage there as well. No dramas at all. Instrument panel. Quite nicely detailed. So there's a CB radio incorporated into this, so you can add a bit of wire into that should you wish. And the rest of it is down to you, what you do. I'll look at the instructions in a bit and see what they're saying. But for the most part, out of the box, you could have a few little bits here and there you should, you know, you wish to do. Right, so we've got more roll cage. We've got more parts and exhaust. We've got the engine head cover there. <coughs> part of the turbo, is it? Part of the wheel hubs. More suspension, more strengthening parts. I don't know if they're roll cage or not. And again, no problem at all. Careful clean up, making sure you cut what needs to be cut, nothing else. Quite simple. All clean, no problems at all. Nothing really to cut off for, there's a bit of detail there on the engine cover. The springs are kind of well defined there on the suspension as well. So yeah, no problems there. And the last big sprue. So, what have we got on here? We've got the steering wheel, fire extinguisher, the turbo, brake discs, window wipers. Now what have we got there? Is that a, hmm. There could be the intercooler there, hard to tell. But again, quite clean part. The smaller parts will show floors more prominent. There's a little bit of flash of some locator points. It shouldn't be there. It really shouldn't be there. The window wipes got a bit of flash on them. It shouldn't be there. But you know what? With these kits, I don't really care. I'll be honest. Uh, it really shouldn't be there. It's a brand new kit from a decent manufacturer. Um, but for the subject matter, I said last time, it could be rolled in dog poo. And I'd still go and buy it. So no dramas there. Nicely detailed. It's a little bit soft and vague in places. Like the, the cross-drilled sections of the discs aren't very well defined. Hopefully there'll be some photo etch there as well. Well, there is. Um, and that'll help define that a bit more. So there's that. We've now got the rims. So now these are going to have brake coolers on them. So you're not going to really see the wheels as such. So let's see what we got. So I'm going to guess that's the spare rim. And we've got four road wheels. Front and rears, they're going to be defined. And we've got our brake coolers as well that sit in the middle 
like so. so there you go. So the wheels are very well moulded. Spare one looks good. No flash, no damage. Nothing at all. Very nice. Brake coolers are these weird little fan things. The direct airflow through the wheels to cool the discs. Again, nice and detailed. Nice raised surface detail there. Give them a paint, uh, wash up. They look really good. Once done, so there's two sets of those. And then the four rims themselves. Two sets. So they're going to be found, defined front and rear. And again, nice and detailed. Nice raised surface detail. Although they're covered by the disc coolers, you can put a wash in there should you wish as well. So there's nothing wrong with those uh, wheels there at all. Chrome parts. Now, what have we got there? Why are they chrome? Okay. So we've got our lights. Very nice chrome. The BMAS chrome here is really nice. It's perfect that. Nothing wrong with that. These are just the re reflectors for the lights and the wind mirrors. They can all be left. They don't need stripping. Uh, nothing wrong with those parts at all. Very nice chrome. Really nice. And then we've got what looks to be part of the rims. Okay, so assume it's for those ones there. So why are they done in chrome? Isn't the real car any chrome trim like that? It's a bit strange, okay. Instructions will tell us, and if not, shummed in the chat, it surely will. So they're for those, because they won't fit on there, yeah. So they're for that. So split rim. Okay, very cool. Again, the chrome's good. Obviously, once you cut it off the points at the back, you're gonna lose all um, the chrome off it, so I'm not sure why there's a chrome. I'm sure we'll find out in a minute though. Let me go through those instructions. And last but not least, oh no, clear parts. Oh, you silly boy, see? I don't know if you got those then. So we've got two lots of clear parts. We've got the main glass, and then we've got clear trays from underneath our lights. That'll be the glass work to separate the engine bay from. The cockpit. And again, no problems there. Hmm. It's a little bit distorted in places. There's a few marks there on that glass as well. Can you see that there? If you look at the point, there's two little points there and there. There's a line diagonally up from each one. If you can see that, I'm really nitpicking, I really am. Um, you barely see that once it's in, but it is there. It almost looks like a crack, but it's not. Strange. Okay, but for the most part, the glass is clean. The lights are good. Um, clear parts they are nice and clear. They're not the most quality clear parts, but they're nice and clear. As you see, if I bring it up, even a height, the clarity stays good on my bench. So that's good. Lots of cleanup. There always is on these. But by doing that, they're ensuring they get a good mould on the clear parts. So, as always, these are going back in the bag. You know me by now. Never leave the clear parts out because that's how they get damaged. And it's one of the most prominent parts on the car. Put it away, take care of them. If you touch them, wipe them over a soft cloth. Take care of the clear parts. And they will look good at the end. And then the main glass as well. Plenty of glass work on the car. So these are our front rear screen and our side windows. So we've got the, the little um, time sheet, time stamp, uh, time card, that's the word I'm looking for, card. Time card window slot there as well. We've got the louvers in the rear window, the front screen. This glass is much better. There's a little bit of floor on the front screen, but there's no damage. It looks good. So no problems there at all optically if I bring it up. As you can see, it's not bad at all. Because then I'm about 80 inches from the bench. That is actually really good. I do have a slight floor on that though. There's a floor right in the middle. Which I'm going to doubt you can't see. Let me see if I can angle it. It's the smallest floor. When the kits are this good like this, or I'm, um, you know enthusiastic about them it's hard for me to point out faults not that i don't want to but it's hard for me to find them so i have to nitpick 
There's a little flaw just in the centre there. Almost looks like a water spot, but it's not. But on the whole, the clear parts are good. So spot on again, it's going back in the bag. It always does. There we go, so they're all the sprues, they're all the annoying bags. One more bag left. This is our tyres, our polycaps, and our mesh. Two lots of mesh. Always handy to keep, even if you don't use it. I've got mesh in the uh, PE set, which we're going to look at in a second. Um, but it was good to see that as well. Tyres, so. Okay. <laughs> Random. Okay, so we've got to cut out the centres of the tyres. Not seen on the BMX kit yet, but okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, then. So I wonder if that's because they've had reported damaged tyres where they've been cut off, because that's where mine were damaged. So this is interesting. So let's see what happens with future releases. Because I'd quite happily rather cut that out myself. I know I've done it properly. Than somebody cut out in a hurry is doing thousands of these a day. So okay. On the whole, good tyres. Not much of a seam. It is there, but it's not, if that makes sense. So you've got your front and rear tyres and a spare as well. Uh, they're not marked. Uh, they are slicks as well. So, okay, yeah, different. Polycaps there for putting our wheels on, and like I say, our mesh as well. So, there we are. So, we'll have a look at the decals, etc., the instructions, and then we'll go through that detail upset as well. I'm trying to go through it as quick as I can without waffling for too long. We'll be in for 20 minutes, so we're not too bad at the minute. It, it's hard to keep the review short enough to keep interest and go for everything I possibly can. In depth, right? So, decal call out, these are fantastic, they really are. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Absolutely stunning decal sheet, um, beautiful looking car. Anything with martini on it, uh, I'm a sucker for anything alcohol or cigarette livery, it's got me. Uh, I don't know why I just remind you of being a kid, it's all it does. Truly iconic looking car, very aggressive car. Uh, like I say, out and out speed machine, it's all it's built for, and that's that. So very cool. They are very handy decal sheets. Just pay attention to your decal cards and don't fall into a trap I did, just putting the wrong decal on and then getting a load of grief for it off a load of idiots. And I'm saying that politely. So there's that very nice touch. We've also got a little fly there for all the other B Max cars. Very cool. Excellent. Very nice. They've got a good lineup of cars now. We've got our decals now. I've used BMAX decals a few times now. No issues at all. They take a little bit of manipulation, but they conform well. Uh, and they'll, they'll go around corners and, um, you know, irregular services pretty easy. So BMAX likes to do this. I love being with the smaller BMAX decals as well. I'm a bit weird like that. So BMAX likes to give you the window seals as decals. I've never used them. Um, I always mask and paint um yeah so it's a bit different doing that but this is how they do it so again decals look good no problems there so should you wish you can use the decals rather than masking and painting the window seals and then we've got our iconic decal scheme there so having a quick look before we have a chat so colors good Everything's in register, which it should be these days. Again, I've got a line mark on the decal, a little bit of damage, but it shouldn't do anything to the damage. A bit of a crease. Again, I've used these before. Had no issues at all. They've gone down great. And again, that beautiful martini scheme. Absolutely lovely. So, nothing too, you know, taxing to do there. Probably the hardest bit is going to give these over the front wing but take your time they do conform well um just take your time you'll be just fine so yeah no problems there at all all the sponsorships there pirelli tire markings are there as well the cb radio details down the bottom there as well you've got your seat belts if you haven't got the detail upset and you want to use the decals instead all the lances there the speed line wheel markings are there as well lovely absolutely beautiful decal sheet there very very nice and again 
These go back in the bag because there's anything damaged easily again. It's the decals. So, let's get these away. We'll have a quick scoop through the instruction book. You know what? The one downside to these sticky bags, trying to get stuff back in them. They're like limpets, they just grab everything you try and put back in. Everything. But they are good because you can reseal them. You know what? We'll do that later. <laughs> right, let's zoom right out for the instruction book. Right, so the introduction on the front. So we've got a bit of info on the car there, if you don't know about the car. Pause, have a little read. Or go on Google, and there's plenty of information on YouTube videos about this car, because it was an immense machine. So first page, we've got some, a B telling us stuff. It needs to buzz off. So information about modelling. The colour call outs are there as well. Again, if you didn't see it on the side, I'll hold them up for you to have a little look. And the colour outs are in Mr. Hobby Aquas and Mr. Colour as well, as well as uh, Tamiya over here. FS colours, and that's that. They've mentioned about applying any decals and what all the legends mean in the kit too. So we've got our usual confusing paint instructions about what needs paint in black. So lower bottom half of the sill and the windows need painting as you can see. And we start off assembly with the engine. So it all looks pretty straightforward. Obviously when the um, extras are called out from the detail upset, they're in a separate box up here. So pay attention to that as you go. So yeah, we start with the engine. That seems to build up pretty quick and uh, simple as well. Hopefully it's pretty detailed because you know you take the back end off this thing and see it all. So hopefully it is there for the most part. Got some careful painting required, some decals needed, uh, and then part out of the detail upset, which I think is carbon decal as well. Uh, again, careful painting needed. This is going to be quite a tricky, not tricky, but in-depth kit to do. This isn't just a shake and bake one. Quite a bit of work going to be required, especially if you've got this detail upset, because there it is, and it's definitely one of the biggest ones I've seen yet. We're going to look at that in a second. Um, so engine in place, and attach that to the uh, cockpit part of the engine. There's that piece of glass we saw from the back. Again, more parts of what is basically part of the car's roll cage kind of strengthening structure. Uh, rear differential, brake discs, exhaust. Okay. We're then going on to painting the underneath of the chassis as well. Put the front section in, that clear part on top as well. And so on and so forth. And as you see, there are some big parts for these aftermarket sections. So, yeah. It's going to take some careful doing this one. Of course, you don't need to use all the PE. Pick and choose what you want to use. If you don't like the use of it, or if you look at it and think it's not much better than the kit part, you know, that's your choice. Just because you bought it doesn't mean you have to use it all. Um, things like this always prove spare later on, or what have you. Um, so just because you've got it doesn't mean you have to use it. But some of the parts are well worth using, like the belts. Belts, putting the proper fabric belts in, they look so much better than the decals. It's well worth the time. And if you've not seen belts being done, go to my Subaru build and I show them being built there. Um, but things like that are well worth doing. The back of the seats, uh, I'm assuming we've got the carbon uh, composite in there as well, which is cool. And detailing up our dashboard up the top here. Getting the roll cage upper surface in. Really starting to come together now, as you can see. More photo etch for the back. We've got our wheels. With no mention of that chrome part. There it is, sorry, actually, yes. Why is it chrome? I've never ever noticed that on the rear of those wheels before that it's chrome. I'm gonna have a good look at that. Never noticed. Anyway. Lots more painting required in the underneath of the front engine cover. Parts to cut out and remove as well. Again, there, so just pay good attention to it. There's the mesh included with the detail upset, so you don't use the uh, fabric stuff that comes with it. If you do though, there's life size uh, cutouts for you to cut out and cut around it. Again, more P parts, attaching parts of the bodywork. Again, getting the inside painted, more P parts of the interior. You really have to pay attention to these instructions if you've got that detail upset, just to make sure you're fully aware of what goes where. 
Then we're on to our antenna. Again, the kit part, it's a little bit over scale. Uh, the detail upset is much better. The roof fence, window wipers, I hate those things. They're a pain in the backside to assemble. I might give them a go though. <laughs> I've never been successful yet. And then we've got our centre part here with the glass going in and those decals it showed. But for me, I like to paint them, they look better. Finishing touches, we've got wing mirrors, the vents, the antenna, same as up there, but smaller. Uh, get the spare tire on, which lives in the front. Um, more extra parts in the PE set, so it looks like it's going to detail it up a bit more as well. Uh, photo etched mug flaps, which you can fashion yourself. We have the detail up there, and there we go, we're fully assembled. On the back page is a full sprue layout as well, which is always handy to have. And um, spare trees and sprues are labelled at the bottom, so if you want them, uh, you can contact BMAX, good luck, is where I'll say. And there we go, so that's the kit itself. Uh, then for an extra, I think it's about twenty odd pounds. There's the Lancia detail upset. So I haven't looked at this yet. I go for everything blind. This arrived yesterday. A very kind gift. The whole thing, the kit and this, of my mate Sam. I'm very eager to look in the uh, detail upset, especially. But I saved it. As you can see, we're all still sealed. I saved it for you guys and girls out there, so we can all have a look together. So let's see what we get in here. It's the biggest one I've ever felt. It were. I've had a few of them in my hand. Hey. <laughs> so, man, the stables. Because they actually hurt. Oh, thanks, that's it. Ruin the bag. Thanks, BMAX. Not that I wanted to put it back in there or anything. So, ooh, we've got some carbon. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in there. Right, so what have we got? So, we've got the fabric ribbon for our seatbelts. A little bit thin in my opinion, I like the 3mm stuff. We've got our antenna and antenna mount. We'll have a look at all this properly in a minute. We've got our say belt decals for our seat belts. We've got some magical paper that I'm for the decals. Um, we've got one, oh my life. So we've got some composite carbon there. We've got more <laughs> there, including the seat back, which is good, excellent. And then we've got some carbon there. So that's going to keep you busy, that's for sure. So three decal sheets, and then we've got three photo etch frets. So on there we've got the grills, wipers, discs, bonnet pins, seatbelt harness parts, etc. On here we've got a lot of the boxes and the mud flaps, and so on and so forth. And on there we've got all sorts of stuff. I have got a clue what it is. So let's start with the PE. I'm not going to take it off. It is this beautiful double sticky back stuff that is already pre-cut. There is no nothing to cut off the fret. I love this stuff. So you peel one side off and very carefully edge it up. Uh, if you saw the Jägermeister build, you saw me using this kind of PE before. And uh, it's all pre-cut, ready to go, but it's going to need bending. So if you're not going to bend it, get some decent pliers, uh, photo edge pliers. And do it that way but the photo etch it's lovely bmax's photo etch is very very nice to work with really nicely detailed not much to talk about there because i'm not 100 sure what these parts are um but on the whole the photo etch is very nice on this one we've got our mud flaps and again nicely detailed some sort of a box let me zoom in a tad actually it wipes the camera out unfortunately the reflection uh, there's a box there as well we've got some bolt heads at the top and bottom there and some grills there as well and again flawlessly made very very nice it feels very thick when you first hand it because it's on this double uh, sticky back plastic front and rear but once you get it off it's very easy to work with not having to cut it it's just a delight it really is there we go there's a second one and the biggest one of the two so these are all our grills on there and they are very very nice if i hold it side you can see it properly so we've got all our grills, all our seatbelt um, P parts there. We've got our bonnet pins, window wipers, uh, radiator gr um, fan cover. Uh, we've got some cable you know, ties there as well. All the discs are there. And they do look a bit better detailed. It's a very shallow cross drill there. Very strange. And then we've got uh, the radiator covers themselves and that beautiful mesh, which is really, really nice. So again, top marks on the P. Very, very nice. So three frets of those. We've got three sets of decals too. So we've got what looks to be like a true carbon. 
as you can see, uh, quite a nice pattern on there. So I'll give you a tip. If you're ever going to build more than one of these, trace this out. Or cut them out as close as you can and trace it so you can then buy aftermarket carbon sheets and cut it out yourself. I'll only build one of these, uh, more than likely, because uh, unless they start bringing out Pikes Peaks conversions or things like that, <laughs> this will be the only one I build, so I doubt it would anyway. And to be honest, I'll probably spring for the detail upset again for the extra parts. But if you're ever going to use it again, or you've got a friend that's building it, copy that for them. And they've got a sheet there, but very nice. Those decals should be fine. Then we've got the seat backs. Those various parts. Hopefully these are cut perfectly to fit where they should. Because that would be a nice touch. We've got a weird effect on camera there. Very strange. And again, nice weave on that as well. We're coming close to have a look. Very nice. And then the last one, some of the bigger parts are there too. And again, no problem. Very nice. They should go down fine, but just like the other decals. Decals for the seat belts. We've got the little say belt logos there and harness pad covers. So no problems there. Like I say, you get a good let's have a look. 34 centimeters of the ribbon. I think this is too thin personally. I had the three mil stuff. I think it looks a bit more to scale. Um so I tend to replace the seat belts with my own stuff to be honest. But again, it's there, you can make your own belts. And last but not least, the antenna mount, which is a very, very nice piece of turned alloy. And the antenna itself too. And there we go, so that's the kit and the detail upset. Right, so there we go. So what do I think? I think it looks great. Uh, there's no real problems in there. The little wispy flash you're always going to get. And like I say, for the subject matter we're getting, I can let that slide. It shouldn't be there, it really shouldn't. It's a new kit. But it is, so we're just going to have to deal with it. It's one of those things. Uh, but it looks great. The decals are fantastic. The kit itself looks good. Um, the aftermarket set, I think, is a must-have. There's loads of stuff in there uh, for that kit. Even if you don't use it all, I think it's still well worth buying uh, to have for all those extras that you get for the money. Um, but as you know, it's £20. Pounds. In the UK, um, the kit's retailing for around the £35 pound mark, depending on where you go. Uh, and the detail set is about £22. So it's an expensive addition, but it's worth it. It really is worth it, um, just for all the added parts. Uh, but that, again, is down to you. You can build out the box, and it still look fantastic. Uh, but for me, I like the detail upset to be max offers, and uh, I tend to go for them all the time. So there we go. Absolutely brilliant. We're looking forward to starting this. should be pretty soon, like I say. I'm not going to video build if anybody asks again. Um, but I'm looking forward to starting this. to be another buddy build for myself and Sam, and hopefully it'll build up well as well. So, very happy with that. Excellent. So, thanks for watching today. As always, check out Internet Scale Model Facebook page and forum. All the links in the description down below. Check out umpretail.com, myself and Lee's business. We've got all sorts on there kits, tools, sanders, primers, thinners, cleaners, all sorts of stuff on there. Head on over there and have a look as well. Check out my Paul ISM modeling page. Please go over to my page. All my personal modeling work is shared there. Um, I'm about 30 away from 2,000 likes. I got 2,000 followers a few weeks back. Well, please go and have a look on my work shirt there. All the videos are there. All my thoughts of modeling go there as well. And it's just a click. Like it. Go and have a look. If you don't like it, don't click it. It's as simple as that. Check out the Modern Hangout group for all our offer hangouts. You can come join us on camera. You don't have to be on camera, but you can show your workbench. You can do some modeling with us, have a chat and have a laugh. Uh, and come join our Friday Night Live show every Friday night, half seven UK, half eight Europe, one thirty cents US. Pop in. Say hello in the chat and come and join us from Shenanigans every Friday night. And don't forget, on the 1st of March, on our Friday night live show, we're doing our Mother 3 Heroes auction as well for charity. We'll be auctioning off loads of kits and all the proceeds will go to Mothers for Heroes. Uh, that superb charity that does absolutely excellent work for injured uh, veterans and sufferers as well. So well worth taking a look at. So Mothers for Heroes, uh, you can Google and find on Google and the fair Facebook as well. So there we are. So thanks for watching today. I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.